Glad I get to see you. Oh, God. God, I've really missed you guys. Not as much as we've missed you. Your mother's going to be so glad you're here. She's going to be bummed, though, that you didn't bring Logan along. I know. I wanted him to come, but I was a stickler about him in school. But they both send their love. And how about uh, Miss Jackie? How's she doing? No, oh, why? Is somebody interested? Yeah, what's it to you? She's good. She's traveling the world. You know, I just don't think New York was really her thing. Yeah. I'm glad everything's settled. I'm glad everyone's happy. Yeah. What about Mom? I heard she's at Spencer, like, working with Bill and Katie. I'm not sure that arrangement's going to last. That was really him. So why do you think it wouldn't work? It's complicated. Well, it can't be because of Bill. Mom got over that a long time ago, right? No, she didn't. Wait. Okay, <laughs> Mom and Bill didn't, nothing... Like... No, I don't think the two of them have crossed any particular line, no. Okay, so what is it? Katie overheard your mother telling Bill that she was still in love with him. Seriously? I'm afraid so. Wow. I can't even imagine how mad she is at Mom. Well, she is. And I'm afraid her relationship with Brooke might be permanently damaged. <sighs> so I understand that Mom told Bill that she still has feelings for him, but what about Bill? Does he feel the same way? I'm not entirely sure. I thought it's odd that Mom's been alone for so long. Oh, my God, I know. It's so unlike her. For right? as long as we've known, she's always needed a man. Whether it's you or Ridge or, or Bill, she's always had a man All right, hang on, both of you. This is your mother we're talking about. Not Jackie Maroney or one of your girlfriends. This is your mother. You're right, Dad. I thought Mom was just taking time for herself. But now we know the truth. She's been carrying the torch for Spencer this entire time. I'm curious what Bill thinks. I wonder if Mom's confession has stirred something inside of him. I think it probably has. Your mother's wonderful. What do I... Oh, God, that's so sweet of Dad. <laughs> yeah, it is sweet. So, even if you're not here, you're still very close to my heart. Oh, <laughs> sweet mom. I still feel bad I didn't come home for Christmas. I'm sorry. No, oh, honey, don't worry. You're here now, and that's all that matters. And I have you all to myself. Oh, before I forget, Logan, since he couldn't come, he made you a drawing. Oh, wow. That's, that's great. Cool. Yeah. He's a great artist. He takes after his grandpa. He does. He's, he's very creative. Owen and I have him in a pretty good school. I'm proud of him. I wish he was here, but I understand. So I, I want to hear everything. How are you? Oh, um, good. How's the hospital? Mom, I just saw Dad and Rick. Dad told us what's going on with you and Aunt Katie. Honey, you're hardly ever here, so I, I didn't want to burden you with my problems. Oh, God. So it's true. Did you really tell her that you were in love with her husband? I told Nina she could head home after giving... Do you think less of me? No. No, I don't, Mom. I feel bad for you. For Katie, I guess. The whole situation. I mean, you're siblings. This rift is really difficult. I feel terrible. You have no idea. God, Mom, I'm so sorry. You miss Katie and Bill. They were here having dinner. I thought I would try to smooth things over. How'd it go? Katie is still very upset, very angry with me. Look, I get it. I Believe me, I get it. I, no wife wants to hear those words being said about her husband to her husband, but... Mom, nothing happened between you and Bill, right? No. No, I wouldn't do that to Katie. And Bill and I agreed that we wouldn't let anything happen. I just wish I didn't say anything to him in the first place. Oh God, it was on your mind and your heart. You needed to get it out. I should have kept my mouth shut. I should have told a friend. Or anybody but Bill. So this is real. You... You still love him. You still love him. My love for Bill has never changed. 
It's as powerful as it's ever been. And it probably always will be. But I would never interfere in his relationship with Katie or their family. I like. I was gone during so much of your time with Bill. I didn't really know what you guys were like together. I guess that depends on who you ask. Okay, so I'll probably ask you. It doesn't matter now. Mom, you just told me what a powerful connection you guys had. It must have been a special relationship, so tell me about it. Oh, I don't think that's a good idea, honey. Mom, I would really like to know. It was a glorious love affair. With the most passionate man I have ever known. Wow. It all started with a sense of appreciation and respect. Bill needed me. Bill, I'm sorry, but I can't be Will's mommy. I want a divorce. Our son is yours now. Find him a good mother. Something I can't be. And as time went on, the relationship grew and changed. And before we knew it, we had fallen in love. What should have been so complicated and confusing turned out to be so beautiful. It made perfect sense. Every moment was filled with excitement and passion. We had the world at our fingertips. I think it was the happiest time of my life. Until I realized that it was at Katie's expense. Brooke! And I couldn't live with that. So Bill went back to his family. And that's where he belongs. I still think it was the right decision. You gave up so much, Mom. Bill is the love of Katie's life. They have a nice family. They have a good marriage. They didn't want to get in the way of that. So she's okay now. She's happy. I'm a little worried about her. When she overheard me say those things to Bill, her insecurities came out. Mm. So I, I invited them over to dinner, and I wanted to talk about it and reassure her, let her know that everything's fine. But your Aunt Katie definitely did not seem like herself tonight. I was surprised Katie accepted my invitation. I'm not. She's your sister. She loves you. She doesn't want to lose you. Well, we are communicating. You know, we are talking about Storm and Mom and her oh, recipes and growing that's up. That's wonderful. And, yeah. And then she wanted to see photo albums, but the one that she grabbed had pictures of me and Bill in it. Oh, And boy. that really set her off. But you had a relationship. Those are your memories. She cannot be angry about that. Well, she was. She called it stalkerish. Bill calmed her down. Lord, so you're just, what, back to square one? We are talking, and she said she does want to work things out, but that might be easier said than done. She's, she's being very suspicious and very defensive. You're right, this doesn't sound like Katie. I hope it's temporary. Oh, Mom, me too. Hmm. Why don't you go upstairs and get some rest, okay? It was a long flight and the time changed and all that. Okay, I'm so glad to see you. It's all gonna be okay. Yeah, it will. Katie and I will work through this. We always do. I love you. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Too. I did not. Mom, will you please tell him? Actually, honey, yeah, you kind of did. See? <laughs> Wait, Maya, help. They're ganging up on me. This isn't... Eric Forrester Jr., you behave. Bridget's your sister, and you don't get to see her that often. And when I do, I like to take the opportunity to set the record straight. Oh, my goodness. I never lip-synced Madonna to Giorgio Armani when I was seven. <laughs> okay, you were nine. <laughs> <Stop it. laughs> and he was collaborating with Dad for an international fashion show. Giorgio came over to the house for dinner, and you, my baby sister, were the entertainment. 
Oh my goodness. Okay. Maybe you're right. But if you ever tell my son, or anyone for that matter, I swear. Yeah, I promise. <laughs> Donna, good lord. So, Mom, have you heard from Aunt Katie? You mean the debacle with the photo album last night? It wasn't your fault, Brooke. No, but it uh, made matters worse for Katie. It wasn't good for her to see that. But thankfully, she has Bill and his love and commitment. You're gonna have Alice. Mom, are you gonna be coming into Forrester later? We love seeing you around there again. And I love being around there again. But I just want to spend as much time with Bridget while she's still here Aww. as I possibly can. That's sweet, Mom, but mm -hmm. we could do it at Forrester. I could brush up on my design skills. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're a doctor and a fashion designer? It's a long story. Okay, can I get the abridged version? Oh, let's just say I, what, tried my hand at designing a long time ago. Budge was brilliant. The only problem was she was working for the competitors. Isn't that right, Madam X? But I'm sure Rich would welcome you back with open arms if you decide to stop medicine and pick up that pencil again. Hey, speaking of Mr. Overinflated Ego, I hear he's back in town. Yeah, is that a problem? Uh, Rich isn't Rick's favorite person. Oh, Rick, I was hoping you guys were getting along a little better these days. We are. When he's out of town. It's when he comes back that's when the trouble starts. A little lower on the left. Mom, do you hear me? Uh, sorry, what? The cocktail party that Ridge is throwing. Do you know who's invited? Uh, should I? Wow, how times have changed. Mm. I knew a time when you knew what Ridge was up to before he even knew. There's something I need to take care of. Will you be here when I get back? I don't know. I, I think I'm going to swing over by the house checking with Dad and our globe-trotting CEO if he's there. Okay, well, I'll try not to be too long. See you in a bit. What was that all about? Brooke's text? It must be important for her to take off like that. I love my brother dearly, but I'm excited to get some alone time with his wife. Aw, thank <laughs> you. Let me guess. You're wondering if Rick and I really are as blissfully happy as we seem to be. Oh, well, I don't know if any couple is blissfully happy, but... Except maybe you and Owen. Oh, uh, I don't know how much you know, but, uh, how do I put this? What Owen and I are doing defies convention. Well, as long as it works for the two of you and your little boy, it's all that matters, right? Exactly. Logan is very secure and is loved immensely by both of his parents, just like your little baby will be. That's really all we can think about. I mean, of course, we love being at Forrester, but every day that goes by, knowing that it's one day closer to meeting that little baby. Speaking of Forrester, um, so this rivalry between Ridge and my brother, it's still going on. I'm afraid so. Nobody pushes my husband's buttons like Ridge. I just wish Ridge would let himself know the Rick that I do. The man with a huge heart, who stood by me, who loved and supported me unconditionally the way no man ever has, including my own father. How's that going, by the way? Are things any better between you and Julius? Because of the baby? Oh, I mean, surely he's excited to become a granddad for the first time. Oh. I think he would be more excited if Rick and I had decided to do things differently if we hadn't had my sister carry the baby. But I think he's coming around. And I wish Ridge would too, where Rick is concerned. And start giving him the respect that Rick deserves.